Hello everyone, welcome you all in Engineering Guru Navendi YouTube channel. In this video, we will cover internal expanding shoe brake. As we noted, a brake is a device, a means of which artificial friction resistance is applied to a moving machine member in order to retard or stop the motion of machine. So let's see internal expanding shoe brake. So these are the various platform so you can connect with Engineering Guru 2020. Uh, this is a YouTube channel. You can subscribe this. Uh, this is FB page. You can also join us on Telegram channel and this is uh, WhatsApp channel. Now uh, let's see internal expanding shoe brake. This is the schematic diagram of internal expanding shoe brake. This is the uh, braking lining uh, both side. Uh, leading shoe, this is shoe, uh, this is shaft, this is the fulcrum point O1, O2, trailing shoe, uh, brake drum, this is spring and this is cam. Uh, the brake are widely used in automobile vehicle such as motor cars and light truck. This is the application of this brake. This brake can be operated mechanically or hydraulically. It consists of two semicircular shoe S1 and S2. So here, uh, this is the shoe. Uh, in previous video, we already covered single shoe brake and double shoe brake. So here, uh, this is the uh, two shoe, means S1 and S2. This is S1 and this is S2. With the lower end pivoted at fulcrum O1 and O2 respectively. So here this is O1 point and this is O2 point. So this shoe will be fitted like this. This is for O1 S1 and this is O2 S2. The other free end is connected with to the cam. So this shoe uh, one end is connected at the fulcrum point O1 and O2 and another point is free end connected with the cam here. The outer surface of the shoe is lined with frictional material. Here, uh, this is the outer surface. The shoe are connected by spring with exerted inward force. So, in this uh, diagram, we can see that uh, this is the spring. So, we exert inward force and keep the brake in disengaged position with the drum. So, here, this is the drum. So, with the help of this spring, if the spring is exerted inward force, the brake in the disengaged position. When the cam rotate, the shoe are pushed outward against the rim of the drum. So here, uh, this is the uh, cam, the shoe are pushed. So this shoe are pushed outward against the rim. The friction between the shoe and drum produce the braking torque. Thus, reduce the speed of the drum or stop it completely. Uh, friction between uh, the shoe, this is shoe, and the drum, this is your drum, produce the braking torque. So, uh, this braking torque reduce the speed and drum or stop it completely. So, uh, this internal expanding shoe brake working like this, uh, if the uh, cam pushed outwards against the rim like this this shoe so the friction will be produced between this shoe and drum it produce the braking torque and it reduce the speed and drum stop it completely when the cam is brought back its original position the spring force pulls the shoe inward and back come back to its disengaged position with the drum so vice versa so when the cam brought back its original position the spring pulls uh, the spring pulls like this disengage position for with the drum so this is the basic of internal expanded shoe brake now if you find my video very helpful you can like comment share and subscribe my youtube channel now more important thing this is university exam questions so question may be asked, explain with need sketch of working and internal expanding shoe brake. 
describe an internal exponent shoe break with neat sketch and static applications. This is the end of this video topic. So stay on this channel. More video will be come of this subject basic mechanical engineering. Thank you.